What is going on guys, Kazuko Saka here, and welcome to episode 2 of Dark Souls 3. If you remember at the end of the last episode, or while we're just loading in, we managed to beat the first... No, we didn't even touch the first boss. Yes we did, no we killed it. We killed the first boss, moved on to the high wall of Lothric, went to the Firelink, and generally just swagged our way to the second bonfire. In sort of like a little interlude, I uh, went back to the shrine and bought 99 wooden bolts. That cost me about 700 points. Uh, can I shoot this thing from here? Doesn't look like it does anything. And why did I waste that Estus? So rather than risking anything, I'm going to do that. Whip out my axe. And we're gonna head down the stairs and head towards the uh, bottom, the stairway where the dragon starts start setting shit on fire. Making sure to avoid that knight of Lothric because he's gonna be the challenge. Oh fuck! Didn't see that. Cool, set that thing on fire. That's dead. Come on. Yeah, ninety, ninety, ninety. Okay. Pain, pain. Nope, nope, not having that shit today. Who said you could combo? Okay, that's me. That was that was my fault. Nope. I'm fucking this up. Okay, that's both those killed. That very, very, very badly, indeed. 10 out of 10 for effort, but fucked that up, didn't I? You can set everything on fire now. Oh, reposted! Whoopsies! Looks like some nigga got reposted. Oh, baby. Oh, shit. Now, this isn't going well at all for me. I'm already out of, like, health, essentially. Run, 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 run before the freaking thing sets me on fire. I don't know if you will or not, but... I get... Okay, then we walk up here and bait that... Okay, that's not gonna work. Oh, okay, I didn't realize it was to life. Okay, so in other words, to do that we would need the bow and the dexterity to use it and generally be a bit more pain. So, there's any other one? Oh, we've got an Estus use. Whoop! Use that. Uh, one. Yeah, shoot the wing from underneath is a very good idea for the cosplay. Although I don't like how crossbows like reload fire. All right. Yeah, no, let's not bother with killing the dragon. Yeah, no, let's not do that yet. Let's get our decks up. By the arrows and do it the, the, the normal way. Actually, on second thought, I'll do that off screen because that's going to be boring as shit. Watching me shoot a dragon for like 20 minutes. Cool. 
Oh shit, I got a fire weapon. Whoopsies. I forgot about that. Lord. Okay, so there's an ambush here. Not there is not any longer an ambush here. Okay, that's those two dealt with. So no, you can just make that drop without any punish re repercussions. You want to go for that guy up there because he's not, he's one of the transforming ones. If he transforms, he gets violent and painful for everyone. Okay, we're gonna unintentionally backstab this dude. I just want to sort of hack my way through them for the souls. And then the, the important thing is there's a bloody uh, this little bugger. Who drops a raw gem? The difference between normal weapons and raw weapons is that raw weapons only require you to get the stats to use them and don't go up with your stats by a high base. Whereas uh, normal weapons require you to raise your stats to get more damage out of them. No. Oh. You all tried. Let's see, that guy actually survived. Okay, what we need to do is be super fast and run through here. To we want to avoid that guy. And then that brings us through here. Okay, we grab the steel soldier's helm. Yeah, there's an ambush here. Who only really can kill you, but if you let them, by getting hacked to pieces quite a bit. Then this activates the lift, which allows you to skip most of the level, which is what we want. Oh yeah, buddies! And it also gives us the uh, throwing knives, some throw some more knives over here. And we gotta pop this open, and then for it stays open. And you notice that comes out down here. Okay, so yeah, that opens down here, which leads up to the first bonfire. Which makes things a bit easier for us. So now let's head down and see if we can swiggity swiggity our way over to Emma of the Way of the Bye. The sort of blue sentinels. So we want to run straight along. We've dealt with the ambush, dealt with the enemy here. There's that item over there's a grab, which is the green blossom, which is useful in a boss fight if you are. I mean, I never really use them. I just kind of rely on what I get, what I've got, sort of stats wise. Um, this is going to be the tough part. That noise did not sound nice. Because what you need to do It's generally just backstab bait that guy. And then wait on him as he gets up to hit kill him. Oh, he dropped like the sh the grey shield in the helm. Nice.
Wait for him to lunge like a night nut job. That's that one dead too. And then what we need to do is head up here. Into here, talk to her. There was a woman sitting in the chair ahead of dead ahead of us. Oh, you're power roll. Okay, yep. Okay. And then there's the way of the blue. Which we actually want to equip. Which makes us a member of the way of blue. Okay, let me just check our armor. Northern Helm. Have I got full Lothric? No, I've not. I've got the leggings, remember? Nope. Well, wearing the helmet doesn't seem to slow me down at all, so let's just consider it like an upgrade. A long ass fucking tank. Okay, so. There's another Lothric knight up here for this item. Backstab baits, as always. That's that one dead. For the Lucerne, which is a nice polearm. I think it's a strength weapon. I lied, it's a hybrid again. Hybrid weapons are evil. Forcing me to have dex points? What the hell is this? Fuck it, that's effort. Went, I hate when they stagger attacks like this. I can't withstand much of much concentrated swinging though. I know there's this little shit who wants to crossbow many people to death. There's no items around here. Or here. Oh, that's a summon sign of someone. So what we'll do is to make to give us a bit of a hand, we'll head on with that health assistance. So what? We'll and uh, let's uh, let's get another summon sign as well. Let's let's go into the gang. Like, let's be like, do the waving. Hey, we wave. And they foul us. Now we wait for the uh, other comrade. Who looks pretty damn tanky like me? Well, actually, looks just pretty damn tanky. So we'll wave, and uh, he'll wave back, and then we'll start trudging in. Let's go! Let's go! Let's roll out, Autobots. Okay. So the the general the problem is at this point is I'm running super low on healing. I've got no healing whatsoever. So what we'll do is we'll go for the gate and um, unintentionally summon the uh, Boreal Valley creature, Vordit, I think its name is. Oh shit, 
we'll, fin we'll blast this through this boss fight with the help of our friends, hopefully. Get to uh, ensuing bonfire, because one spawns for each boss, if I remember rightly. And where the hell is he? Where are my friends? Why aren't they here? Nope. That was not the plan. Ping it with bolts. This is the way to keep alive at the point. By not getting into the fight. Oh shit, it's coming for me. Okay, let's go get involved. Why did I think blocking that attack would actually work? Back to the guns! Oh yeah, we did it. Me and we, the crew did it. Oh yeah, let's do that. Let's do the weird jump. Yeah, that's, that's how we do it. And uh, thank you very much, both of you, uh, for the assistance. There we go. That made the first boss a lot easier than I expected. No, like. And there we go. Now that we can do that, let's hit the bonfire. Actually, we'll press on. I know exactly what we're doing here. You walk out here. Praise the banner. And, uh, akin to Dark Souls 2, you, uh, get gargoyled. And they take you down from the castle to the settlements below. And drop you at the top of the wall. And now begins the second area the third area. Boom. Welcome to the undead settlement. And then there's a bonfire right here. Bonfire is totally lit. And uh, we'll end this episode here. Uh, thank you guys for joining me once again for some more awesome Dark Souls action. I hope you're actually enjoying this. I'd love to see a like or a comment from, just to sort of get me, let people know that they're enjoying this. And uh, hopefully we'll uh, crack on to the third, crack on through this area in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you around.